All right, let's see if this crap works playing it like this. Uh, Super Mario Advance 2, Mario World, put it up. Jeez, oh, can that be seen properly? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. This bright palette they applied to the um. <coughs> Turn that down. This bright palette they applied to the Game Boy Advance port of various Super Nintendo games just irks the crap out of me. And I know I'm not the only person because I've seen uh, ROM hacks that change them for this game and Final Fantasy VI at least. Oh, right. Um. Uh, where is it? Graphics and sound options. First one. So you can see frame skip type we will turn to off and we will turn the value to zero just to be sure. And still seems to be running fine. There we go. Alright, let's get into a level. If I can play flat against the desk like this properly, but yeah, as you can see, it seems to be running fine so far. Am I the only one that thinks these voice effects they added to the Game Boy Advance version are annoying? Gotta remember, I use R to spin jump in this version. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing any slowdown. Even with the text box effect thing going. I'm not bothering with you, Mushroom. I don't care. I already have one of you. I'm not going to be greedy and get another one. I do want this, though. Yay! Slide! And I'll just leave you crippled for your life, dragon monster thing. You, though, stop existing. I wouldn't call that luck, Mario. I'd call that skill. Then again, that's really just practice. Yeah, screw you. Ah, 29. <clears throat> I've done better. I've also done worse, but still, I've done better. So, yeah. It looks like everything's running fine to me. And go back to the graphics sound options and confirm it's still frame skip off, frame skip value zero. Now let's go load a new game. Alright, so apparently I wasn't looking at the camera, and when I went to go do Yoshi's Island, I did something else and accidentally bumped the camera away, so let's try that again. Yoshi's Island, this is obviously the pirate intro, because I don't actually have this handy, so I just grabbed a copy off the internet, or the Weber Blagosphere, as XKCD fans call it. Uh, frame skip off, frame skip value zero. Obviously, I want the first game. And as we can see, the title screen with the pseudo mode 7, lots of sprites and, I don't know, fancy DMA color and position effects for the title logo seem to be running fine. New intro. I hate this. Now I have to sit through this intro. It's a long intro. Hey, there's a baby. Let's let's all sit around looking at each other before someone's like, hey, there's a baby. No, no one's gonna admit it. No, no. Okay, fine, fine. Somebody admitted that we're staring at a baby. Somebody's mind caught up with the weird scene they were saying. Someone's like, yeah, hey, look at me, I'm a horse. This is like the evolution of Yoshi for labor. I don't know. Come on, come on, run away. Get me to the intro level. Go on. Go go on. All right, reverse psychology. Go away. Yes, thank you. Why the hell are they using blue instead of black? Oh well. Shut up. Shut up. I know how to play. Shut up. Shut up. Do do do. Make eggs. Throw eggs. Wait, that's the intro uh, name of level one. Blah blah blah. You know, I remember when I saw this game on the Super Nintendo in stores, shut up, I'm old, and I was a little kid, I tried playing it and I couldn't get past this area because I didn't know to hold the button down, because what I had at home was a Sega Genesis and I've been playing Sonic and stuff, and you know, there wasn't, there wasn't any of this kind of mechanics, it was just run and jump, so I had no idea how to play. I didn't know where to hit that box for information, so I thought the game was stupid. I like how on the world map thing, as you beat levels, it adds instruments. That's a little annoying. Make eggs, throw eggs. 
first level. Just gonna power through it because this recording is gonna be long enough already and it appears to be running fine anyways. Bam! I don't need you so you shall be face planted butt on whatever. Flowers, screw you, I hate these flowers. And blah blah. I had to do this because I like it. I like the stairs that continue on beyond the markers. I think that's an interesting mechanic. It's like, alright, this is where it starts, now where does it end? You know what? There we go. Just because I hate flowers. Whoa. Do not want to run into that one. Well, don't want to run into any in particular. Yeah, screw the red coin collection. I will get the flowers, though. At least the ones that are right in my way. Because of the possibility of a bonus game. You. Whoa. All right, already up to the second leaf. That's that's efficiency. When you're carrying around a baby that's not yours, you don't want to dawdle. I didn't say that. Wait, is there a flower over here? No. All right, maybe there is. Maybe it's that one magical floating question mark thing. Whatever, I don't care. We push this Darumaka, I think it's pronounced over. Bam, that's right. All right, now I've only got like, what, a 20% chance of actually getting a bonus thing? Ah. So yeah, let me just confirm again. Frame skip type all, frame skip zero. Um, now Yoshi's Island made, uh, for a platformer, I'll say it made heavy use of whatever the hell special chip it had, so I don't know if there's later levels that actually run like crap. As you can see, the game appears to be running fine. Um, the one that comes to mind is Prince Froggy's Fort. The boss fight of that one, you know, uses a bunch of weird colorization effects on the Super Nintendo version, so I suppose they might have spruced it up for the Game Boy Advance version. That might run crappy, but I'm not playing through to that, so you'll just have to deal with this.